In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to initialize a database with SQL script using MySQL Schema Manager. To initialize our database with SQL script, first of all, we have to create a Kubernetes volume source, um, which will contain our SQL script inside. Uh, here I have used a config map, and you can also use secret and others. Uh, in this config map, I have mounted my script under the script.sql uh, section. Uh, now I, I have to mention the volume source to the SQL manager under the init section in this following manner. Uh, if you are using a secret, you should mention here secret and then the secret name and the uh, volume source should be a local object uh, uh, regarding the SQL uh, That means that both of them should be in the same namespaces. So uh, now let's apply the schema and see. Um, before applying the schema, you can see that my MySQL server is running here and the wall server is running here. And uh, in this terminal, I am logged in as the MySQL admin. And in this terminal, I am uh, exact in uh, MySQL pod. So let's apply the YAML. script so you can see that the schema script has been deployed and it is in progress so let's wait for some minutes oh before that uh, i have to apply the volume source okay so script script.yaml okay so now you can see that uh, after applying the script uh, the schema uh, schema manager has uh, read the SQL from that volume source and now it is in the current status. So let's first of all see the databases. Uh, so yes, you can see that the demo script has been created and let's uh, get the credentials. Okay, so you can see the password and the username. Uh, let's try to log in. Let's show. Okay. So you can see the login is successful. Show databases. Demo script is here. Oops, demo script. Show tables. So you can see that the table is created. Our table name was product. And we see that so create, create table product uh, you can see that uh, everything is uh, is as same as the script so ensure that the, this has been created from the script and now let's see what is inside um, As so you can see that the SQL script has successfully uh, been applied to the state of the server. So uh, in this way, you can uh, initialize your uh, database uh, while creating with schema manager uh, using uh, volume source with a script. So thank you.